Hello and welcome to Broduel. Today we have three mods. Amethyst Hallows Dreamworld, Dark Daedric Axe and Sloth's Horses. First up we have the Amethyst Hallows Dreamworld mod. Amethyst Hallows is a large residential estate that exists in the Dreamworld. To get there and to move in you'll need to follow a simple quest that activates automatically when you have the mod installed. Once you've completed the quest you can then buy the Amethyst Hallows home. Amethyst Hollows contains a variety of different open rooms that are joined to the main dining room, which features your own barmen and servants. The home also offers dynamic selectable scenery, and by clicking a pedestal you can change the scenery from a dark, earth-themed scene to a lighter blue underwater theme. Along with that, the home contains many unique and newly designed items, like new weapon displays, a combined alchemy and arcane table, and a combined crafting and smelting table, which is something we've never seen before. Another feature we haven't really seen implemented quite as well as this one is the auto storage. The way it works is that you can store any items into any storage container and it will automatically sort it. For example, you can place armour inside of a bookshelf and it will automatically be sent to your armour box. The home also offers a variety of different interactive features, including personalised mannequins that allow you to reskin the models to exact clones of your character, as well as a fully functional shooting range with moving targets. The shooting range will tally your score as you play, letting you know if you hit the targets with a headshot or even if you got a multi-kill, and then it tallies it all and gives you a score. On top of all of those features inside, outside you'll have a very unique scene, a duck in the ocean under a forever lasting sunset. Remember that we haven't shown you everything included as we didn't want to spoil it all. We had a lot of fun exploring the home for all of its hidden features, and we would prefer others to do so too. And for today's second mod we have the Dark Daedric Axe. The axe is a new Daedric two-handed weapon that has been added to the game. The weapon can't be crafted or bought and your character will automatically obtain the weapon when you load the game with the mod installed. The stats on the weapon match that of the original Daedric battle axe, and the design of the axe is enough to be unique and still fitting well with the other Daedric weapons that are already available. Our only concern with the mod is how it's integrated into the game, but the creator is willing to allow others to use the weapon as part of their own mod as long as they contact him beforehand. So if you want to add it to a quest, the level list, or make it craftable, then contact the creator on Nexus. And for today's third and final mod we have Slough's Horses. The mod adds a variety of different textures for horses throughout the game. What we're showing you on screen is a small collection of the horses from each of the packs that are available. The mod actually offers six packs of various horse colours that are interchangeable. There's one base texture replacer and five packs of variations, so remember to play around with each pack before deciding which one you prefer. Other changes include retextured horse eyes to make them more shiny so they stand out more than usual, as well as a slight shine added to the horse's colts, and the horses now have horse shoes. And an upcoming update will include stallion variants, and we can't wait to see them. And that's it for today's Spotlight. If you haven't seen our most recent bits and bobs, then you can click the annotation on screen now. And thanks for watching.